Welcome to the Ten Acre Woods on this lightly snowy day. Uh, my name's Mark, my wife Tara, and daughter Tiana. Uh, so we're just heading out to feed the animals this morning uh, and to introduce you to our new arrival. So this is our new arrival that came in this past week. Uh, so last video we mentioned about her coming in. Here. Here. She's still a little shy. <laughs> Aren't you? Uh, so we posted on both Facebook and in the YouTube community post uh, to um, choose between a name. So it was either Lexi or uh, uh, Chatta, uh, which the uh, people who brought her to us uh, she chatted quite a bit, so uh, she didn't really have a name and she only kind of had that name for a short period of time. So we threw it out there and um, asked you about what name that um, she should have and uh, we went with Lexi, which was the, uh, the person who arranged her to come uh, here to the farm. Uh, that was her name. So her story is uh, she came from Alberta and she came from uh, a farm that acquired her and other animals uh, from other areas in need of assistance. Uh, so just way too many animals to handle themselves. Uh, so they reached out to us. Uh, her husband was uh, actually on his way to school in um, Ontario. I'm not sure, Northwestern Ontario, maybe Thunder Bay. Not quite sure, but he was passing through this area and um, he was able to drop her off. Come here. You're shy, aren't you? Come here. Here. Why don't I put this down here? There you go. Of course, Onyx will have some. <laughs> uh, so she came in, I believe it was Monday that she came in. So, um, so we decided to put her back here with Onyx that uh, came in last year. Um, Onyx was um, discovered along the side of the road for some strange reason. Uh, and um, uh, she was brought here to us. So it's going to take you a little bit to get used to us, isn't it? <laughs> well, she's been uh, traveling in a vehicle. Um, she's been from different farm to different farm, so she just doesn't know what's happening. 
Hey. Yeah. All right. Well, we'll let you get used to it. Like all animals, it takes uh, sometimes takes time, uh, depending on their uh, their situation, where they came from, how they were treated. Uh, so uh, she'll. Uh, I'm sure she'll fit right in. <laughs> you think I go back? Who told you? Who told her about us? You know? No, no. no? She just all of a sudden one day said, "Yeah, like, cause I gotta come back for some schooling," and she's like, "Hold on, Right? I know. That's <laughs> right. Yes. Come on. I want friends. Where's my friends? Oh, there's Levi. Good girl. This way, Lexi. Just checking everything Lexi. out. Come on, Lexi. Good girl. Come on. Oh, there's. Oh, stairs. She's you, you got a couple ball lambs, so she's seen lambs. Yeah. Oh, right, because she's, I'm sorry, she's got a big on it, but she's she's just off baby. Yeah. Baby's just off of Yeah, baby. just this week. Aw. Who's that, Onyx? She's got a pee. She saved that and didn't pee in the car. She's peed cool. three times. That's four. Well, every time I let her out, she went to the bathroom. Like, I got her house train now. Right? Yeah. Who's that, Onyx? So one other thing about Lexi is um, she has cancer. So she has a skin cancer uh, on her back end. So that is the end, of course, that's exposed. It doesn't have a lot of hair. Uh, so it can be prone to, uh, to skin cancer. Uh, but um, she should have no problem uh, living out her life here. Uh, we don't anticipate uh, any issues. Um, and of course, Tara is looking into different ways, um, you know, different treatments, different diets uh, that uh, we can maintain her cancer. What is it? What is that? <laughs> uh, yeah. So curious. <laughs> uh, all right. Uh, so Fernando, <laughs> Fernando, yeah, he's here in the corner. He's got his own little pad here. Uh, we're hoping in the next uh, month um, he'll come out and go back outside uh, as things will warm up. Uh, and uh, you probably saw in the uh, little B-roll there I did with the feeding, uh, you saw Dave. Uh, Dave is around here somewhere. <laughs> Probably either underneath uh, that wagon or in his favorite spot in the uh, in the bales of hay. And then we have Scooby here, the little one, and Ritzy, the Pekin duck. Uh, and the size difference now between these two. <laughs> it's just incredible. Uh, so they've been getting along great. Uh, he still hasn't got his little drake feather on the back end. Uh, but probably we'll get that um, this summer. Uh, we'll see that. So male drakes uh, will get a uh, what's called a drake feather. And their quack is more of a rasp than a, uh, a duck quack. So that's how you tell the difference between a male and a female duck. Uh, so they're hanging out in here. Um, yeah, all of our birds are in there. And then outside, where it looks to be quite bright... We have all of the other animals out here uh, and still have yet to go outside. Right, Jasper? <laughs> just stay in the corner. <laughs> uh, so they're just finishing off uh, their breakfast, so we gave them uh, hay out here. Uh, what we usually do is we'll, um, we'll give them hay out here first as a distraction so that we don't get a crowd, uh, especially Turbo. The big one there, he likes to uh, push his way up to the front. Right, George? George, you're getting pretty big now. You were just a little lamb. <laughs> and then speaking of our little lambs and Sheldon, uh, they're over here. Sheldon's hilarious. He, um, Whenever we bring 
uh, the hay out um, and and he knows that the hay is coming out hi <laughs> he uh, he gets really excited and he runs around in circles runs around in circles he's just our special little boy <laughs> uh, all right there's uh, that's about it out here you know everybody's out feeding it's still snowy outside blackie what did you get into girl <laughs> what did you get into look at you <laughs> uh oh piper going back to bed <laughs> yeah there's our our little buddy turbo <laughs> Um, yeah, so this is um, still what we're dealing with here. Uh, snow and lots of it. Uh, so we've actually got to date, uh, this is the third largest amount of snowfall. I believe it's 156 centimeters of snow that we've received to date, uh, which to date puts us in number three position for uh, the most snow we've ever had. Uh, now, of course, in amongst that snow is a pond. Uh, and we have put in place this pond as well as a trench that runs up to the front highway ditch. That is our um, flood or water management system, which we had to deal with because when we first moved out here, well, we uh, had quite a bit of overland flooding. Uh, the water comes in from the back there, fills up the pond, uh, and then it overflows out into the trench. Uh, so it hasn't overflowed in the last few years. Uh, but I think this year we're going to see um, we're going to see some high water, um, but we've got things in place that will protect uh, the farm from the uh, the water that comes in. Billy, what are you doing? <laughs> Billy loves Daisy. Uh, Daisy loves to hang out in here, uh, and uh, well, Daisy tolerates him. <laughs> and uh, he is responsible for most of this damage on the building. Uh, so I've talked about this before where um, we will likely be... Carl, come here. He wants the camera. Carl, come here. <laughs> uh, we will likely be uh, either um, renovating this or tearing it down and building another one like we've got over here. So, yeah, you come here. Oh, <laughs> what, why are you pushing me? Come here, Carl. You know, that's the thing with setting up a camera on a tripod with goats. Uh, it's something new, especially male intact goats. It's something for them to play with. It's like, oh, what is this new toy that daddy brought me, right? Daddy didn't bring you that toy. <laughs> uh, yeah, my boys. <laughs> um, so yeah, Carl usually hangs out in this nice new building we built over here. Oh, I thought that was Levi for a minute. Levi is the one that usually uh, bites on my, um, on my jacket and, and tugs. Hi, what are you doing? What are you doing? Hi. Yeah, you give me kisses? <laughs> Where is Levi? Oh, Levi's behind her. <laughs> Look at this. On the side of um, Carl's horns, he has green. Uh, probably from the green painted trim, because this is the one that likes to uh, rub up against it. Come here, Carl. So, speaking of horns, you can see Carl's horns. Uh, yeah, he doesn't have too much. He's got just uh, a couple little... Okay, what are you doing? <laughs> A couple little stubs. Um, it's because he's been whacking things. Um, he doesn't learn. Um, well, I don't know if he's learned now. He still is seen sometimes bumping things. Uh, but now it's his son, uh, Billy. Okay. What? Look at them. Both of them. <laughs> okay. Stop it. <laughs> what? Why? Why must you do that? I gotta watch Carl in my camera. Carl! Okay. <laughs> oh, it's never a dull moment out with these guys. Hey? <laughs> oh, you guys are hilarious. 
Okay, Carl. <laughs> oh, Carl. See, I had to put the uh, camera up in the top of this feeder here uh, because if I were to put it down on the ground, well, that's just asking for trouble. <laughs> right, Carl? <laughs> uh, so as I was saying, this is uh, Carl's house, really. Um, Levi and Meadow usually hang out in here. Uh, sometimes they'll wander, you know, into this area. Uh, and Daisy and Billy usually end up over there. So the idea is, uh, well, for starters, we need to shift this building over and bring it up because it is a little bit low. Uh, and when we built on this addition off to the side, uh, it doesn't quite line up with this. So we actually have to bring this out uh, so that it kind of lines up more. And then we're likely probably going to build another one of these uh, beside it. So here, uh, where we live, we don't need a building permit if we build a shelter that is under 103 square feet. Uh, or I believe that works out to 10 square meters. So um, what we do is we build this and then we just build another one beside it uh, the same size. And we could eventually, you know, build a number of them and then finish off the roof to come this way to build, um, to build other smaller ones this way. But what we want to do is we want an open area so we can get in and clean it out with the tractor, uh, our new tractor that we purchased. Hey, Carl. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so there's Danny. Coming to get some nuts. Trying to make his way across. Oh, there he goes. <laughs> I probably, oh, there he is over there. He's I just there. checked too, so I know there's nuts in there. The dogs. Uh. <laughs> I was trying to keep my voice going so that they didn't do anything. Actually, I don't see him. Oh, he's down. Hi, buddy. What's he doing down there? He's right on the bench. No, he's down on the on the bottom. Okay, he's going up. Oh, there he's in his. Checking it out, see if anybody's home. He's in his nut house. Oh, no, he's going to come over. <laughs> he's just going to take. Yep, take one. Take it with him. He's not hanging out. Oh, okay. <laughs> I guess I should go clear that for him. Uh, Danny only comes out when it's uh, when it's warm. He goes sideways right across the deck. Uh, oh, 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 Bye, Danny. Oh, he's I know he loves the fence line. Yeah. Up and over. He's just gonna sit there and eat it. Yeah. Looks like it. <laughs> oh, what is it, you guys? Uh, <laughs> they don't get to see Danny very often. <laughs> Uh, Nick's having her lunch. <laughs> uh, so Tara has planted some catalpa trees, uh, but none of them have come up. Just um, other seeds that were in the soil. Um, so, uh, and then over here is the. You said it was ivy, didn't you? Yeah. It's that uh, creeping. Uh, Virginia creeper. Virginia creeper. Yeah, but of course there's just grass coming up there now. So. Uh, we'll see how that goes um, as time goes on. Uh, so Tara's been uh, working on her Hanny stuffed animal. <laughs> oh yeah, gotta put the ears. Yeah, we think he's adorable with the ears. They're backwards. Oh. Uh, <laughs> yeah. So, so that's the next one that'll be available for 150 bucks. And uh, hashtag Hanny kind of thing. It's got the, the ten acre woods. We're just I'm just getting the tag ready for his ear. It'll say hashtag Hanny. <laughs> right. uh, so that's her newest project. 
So she's been working on seeds and getting seeds organized. And we have next weekend, there is a mitt making. Mitt making. Yeah. yeah. Full class mitt making. And uh, then the weekend after a seed swap and you start getting into yeah, stuff going on. Hopefully uh, all that white stuff will be gone. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So. Looks like the, all the cats are, are the, the two of them are in your room, aren't they? Uh, Nix yeah, was in my room earlier, and then I opened my door, and, and Coda. Coda's still passed out on my bed. Oh, is he? <laughs> yeah, he's like curled up on my bed, just there. Uh, and the other ones must be downstairs. We what is it, Atlas? Upstairs. Did you see Danny the squirrel? Hey, <laughs> these guys. Atlas just kind of barks because the other ones are barking. Um, but Toby and Maggie are the uh, are the rodent killers. So they're uh, they're whenever they see a, a chipmunk or a squirrel, um, yeah, they uh, they lose it. So yesterday on Saturday we had uh, a bunch of people that had come out and uh, some families, some friends, uh, and we figured we would pick up. Uh, well, Tara mentioned for me to pick up a birthday cake. So what I did is I picked one up uh, at, uh, at a grocery store and I had them just put on it. Happy birthday to me, actually. <laughs> happy 50th birthday to me. Um, so that is, it's actually not until Friday, March 4th. But uh, yeah, I'm turning the big 5-0. Tara's already there. <laughs> just married a youngin. <laughs> yeah. So we'll be 50 for about a month's time because her birthday is in April. Yeah. So uh, Nix, what are you doing? <laughs> Just throwing things on the floor. Ugh. Oh, and the jar almost fell. <laughs> she does that. Come here. Uh, Nix, <laughs> what are you doing? Yeah. <laughs> and uh, real link. Uh, so I'll, I'll uh, touch on this uh, in a video or two. Just uh, getting things set up. They sent me. I guess this is my birthday present. <laughs> real link sent me a camera. It's actually a, uh, a two camera in one, so it's, a, it's like a 170 degree angle it captures. Um, so I've got a bunch of those around. I'm gonna be setting up these cameras out in the barn for when our uh, mamas go inside so we can keep an eye on them, kind of as a, uh, a baby monitor. It even comes with a, uh, a solar panel to uh, keep it charged if it's out in an area where there's no power. What do you think, next? So that is it for this video. Um, I hope you uh, enjoyed the video. And if you have any suggestions for uh, what you'd like to know about our farm, um, well, you can always check back in, in videos we've done. But um, leave something down in the comments. Uh, and uh, we'll be sure to do that. Uh, anyway, uh, have a wonderful week. And we will see you in the next video. Take care. Bye-bye.